Oh, thank you so much, gentlemen. It's not all doom and gloom. Just be responsible. Now, let's uh, flip the script a little bit and hopefully inspire you with some major positivity. Crush is bringing you another episode of Unlock Your 100% on SABC 2 tonight at 7.30 p.m. And you do not want to miss out on it because Raul will be going on a journey to help viewers unlock their 100% and live to their full potential. And we sit down with another lucky entrant. This is Tashni Manju from Peter Maritzburg, mm. who wishes to let more farmers know about regenerative of farming and how to approach crop maintenance in a more climate friendly way. Absolutely love it. Tashni, it is so good seeing you again. How have you been considering this crazy journey we were on just not too long ago? Good, good. Thanks, Ryle. It's been a while, hey? Yeah, it has. Man, we had so much fun on the farm. Totally. This episode, I know, is going to be pure magic. But let's just talk about a few things that I know Mzanzi has no idea about, and especially something that really, really pulled at my heartstrings, and that's regenerative farming, right? right. Talk to me about the concept. I absolutely loved it. Cool, man. Regenerative farming for me, essentially, all comes down to soil health. So trying to fight climate change and trying to get involved in sustainability and doing those kinds of things, if we focus on the health of the soil, it'll take us a lot further, a lot faster. So regenerative farming is all about working with your ecosystem that you're a part of, not being a human, a typical human who manipulates the ecosystem they're a part of. So those kinds of concepts resonate with me through life, not just in farming, but to do it with the earth and see how it manifests and see the difference in real life, it's been amazing for me. And I absolutely loved it. And one thing I noticed on the journey that we went on was that you are not the stereotypical looking farmer. I mean, I need to address the elephant in the room right now. You don't look like someone that wants to farm or anything of the sort. So how did you even get involved in this and where did this whole passion even start? First of all, thank you, I think. <laughs> um, I actually fell into farming. It was a completely serendipitous moment for me. I lived in Joburg for about 10 years. Then COVID came in 2020, and I decided to move back to Peter Maritzburg, look after the family. It was really scary times. Um, and then a good friend of mine who owns a family farm out in Albert Falls said, hey, do you want to come volunteer a bit? And I was like, get me out of this locked down house. Yeah. And then I started volunteering, started getting my hands dirty, literally fell in love with it. And now it's what I do. I like that. I think it's a story that a, a lot of South Africans can actually relate to, especially when you look at COVID and these opportunities that it actually presented yeah. amidst all the darkness. This is exciting because seeing you in the space, seeing you on the farm, you literally were coming alive. I've never seen someone so passionate about it. What was something that really stood out for you in the show and in the episode? What is it that like really is a moment that you'll never forget? Yo, there are so many amazing moments from that shoot. Um, working with Ayanda Tibete and all of that kind of energy that she brought, she's this most incredible, beautiful human being. And But she's also this pretty face and she just, all she wanted to do was get her hands in the dirt and plant together. So that whole experience was so empowering for me because I'm only where I am because of what I've learned and the people that have helped me with their patience and taught me what they have. So to be able to give back like that to somebody who was so enthusiastic and excited about this was just a dream come true for me. Having the whole crew on the farm also was really exciting on my home turf <laughs> and everybody running around and playing around and the dogs and the chickens and all that kind of stuff. It was just really exciting to host this whole experience on our home turf. Yeah, and not only excitement, not only fun, but also a lot of learning came through as well, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a fast-paced upskilling, yeah. if you were to even call it that. So one of the obstacles that you were really facing at the time when we actually met up with you was that you wanted to get involved in marketing, brand building, and kind of generating exposure. Now, I know from Zanzi, that's something that a lot of us want to get upskilled on and learn about. For you, though, how did that process kind of uh, present itself? Look, for me, I've got a good social media presence. I love to take pictures and share what I'm doing. Like, I know it sounds silly, but like I grew this cabbage, guys, look at what we did. <laughs> so I was kind of autopiloting through that. And there was so much value through the course of shooting this episode where I learned from the marketing perspective how much thought and strategy and how important your words are, how important your meaning is, how important how the, the shots even looks, you know, or a video even looks and how influential that kind of stuff can be. So I learned so much more that I didn't even realize I didn't know beforehand. I know, and, and for me personally, I can say the same thing. I definitely learned so much. And I really think for Mzanzi, this is an episode that they're going to love. You were so true and honest throughout the entire journey. There were so many tips when it comes to even home gardening and some of the sure. essentials that we can all use in our backyard. So that's something for me that stands out amongst all the magic, all the excitement and fun. Amazing. And I think Mzanzi is going to love this one. Now, so much that we learned along this journey. What is one of the biggest messages that you'd love to share with Mzanzi and the rest of the world? 
So for me, essentially, um, I use, people talk about ownership when it comes to like land and all of this kind of stuff. Recently, it's just been a realization for me that we are custodians of this land. It's part of the principles of regenerative farming. You know, we're not here to manipulate or control. We're here to respect and be a part of it. And I feel like if that's an earnest thing that people start to understand through my messaging, it will create and spark real care about our environment that we all share and that we live in together. So if people can have actual care, they really want to make real change. And if I can inspire one person to really make a real change, then my job's done. Well, I think your job is done because you've inspired me. Amazing. And I know when Mzanzi watches this episode, they are also going to be absolutely inspired. So all I can say is thank you for taking up this challenge so valiantly with such bravery. It wasn't that easy, but it was a beautiful one nonetheless. And I think from Mzanzi, this is going to be one episode that they're going to absolutely love. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, absolute pleasure. I think she's going to be just fine. Yeah. Right? Got the brand, got the image down, and has the right people in her corner. So all the best of luck. And here's the good news. You at home stand the chance of winning a bed from the bed shop valued at 5,000 Rand to help you unlock just a good night's sleep. That's right. Now, to enter, watch the show tonight on SABC2. Comment on the competition posts on the Clover Crush Facebook, Twitter or Instagram pages and tell us how winning this prize will help you unlock your 100%. And don't forget to include that hashtag crush in your answer. Mm -hmm. And the competition closes on the 30th of April. So you've got a little bit of time, but I think we're going to get a lot of entries for this one. So get on it. You can find all the terms and conditions on clover.co. Today. Most importantly, catch the show tonight, 7.30 sharp on SABC2. Unlock your 100% this Wednesday evening at 7.30 as we meet a young, inspiring female farmer who dreams of educating others and sharing her message of sustainability. Guys on the farm was just like, okay, you look like a farm barbie right now. <laughs> That's farm barbie. It's a real blessing when you find a worm in your soil. Oh, so well done. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. so Follow Flashni Manju on her journey to becoming a farming influencer. Let's unlock your 100% every Wednesday evening at 7.30 on SABC2.